something that's been on my mind pretty much since yesterday and I think it's important that anyone who's in a position that they can talk to people whether it's via a podcast a YouTube channel interviews if they are uh, a pundit on any of the television or radio or any form of media outlet um, is the messages that are being communicated um, and the right for people to express their opinions on those messages I find it unbelievable that FIFA that has always communicated itself as a non-political um, non-totalitarian type organization is now feeling like it needs to inhibit uh, individuals rights or abilities or freedoms to express an opinion or make a protest especially if that protest is non-violent is passive by nature and is merely an expression by way of whether they want to wear an armband or a type of shoelace or anything of that nature of course what I'm referring to is the one love uh, inhibition that FIFA announced at the start of this World Cup. For anyone who doesn't know, footballers in the main and football associations in the main have been huge supporters to try and champion the rights of um, any kind of discriminated party or body or minority, which includes uh, the LGBTQ plus community. And footballers and football associations and teams have taken it upon themselves to wear or promote some form of branding or apparel to get that message out there. Whether it's the rainbow laces, whether it's the one love armband, whether it is any kind of banner or anything they bring with them to show their support for that community and any of the issues that they have suffered. Earlier this year, a number of associations, which totaled seven, primarily across Europe, agreed that they would wear a, a One Love armband. Each captain would wear the One Love armband. Uh, you may have seen some of the touchline reporters across media outlets wearing this. They wrote to FIFA, each of them, as far back as September, and FIFA ignored all of that correspondence. No email, no social media, no letter, no nothing. As far as the football associations were concerned, as when this tournament kicked off well, a week or so ago now, they were all fine to wear what is a peaceful expression of their opinion, the One Love armband. At the start of the England match, FIFA publicly announced, which was their first correspondence on the matter, that they would not allow any player to express their opinion in any of the forms or manners that had been communicated by any of those football associations. If a player, person, representative of any of those associations, their delegates or playing or non-playing staff was found to wear such a visibly expressive form, such as the One Love armband, that player or person would face repercussions, which could include a booking, it could include suspension, obviously it could be worse. Which Now, apart from being uh, totalitarian in nature and stopping people's right and freedom to express their opinion, to do that, just as England, who were the first association who would express support for this, were about to kick off their first match, is quite frankly disgusting to get involved for a non-politically uh, a non-political entity which is what FIFA says it is in the first instance is unacceptable and then to have ignored all of that communication across seven associations for two months and only to express an opinion following by potential sanctions punishments when the first of those associations is about to kick off is a joke um it's no different to what happened with apartheid. It's no different to what happened with the Nazis. It's no different to any form of totalitarian regime which inhibits your right and your freedom of speech and expression. Now, FIFA had had the opportunity to communicate on this for two months. They chose not to do that. It was literally in the minutes before kickoff that it was announced, just before England kicked off against Iran, that none of those associations would be allowed to go forward with those protests unless they wanted to accept sanctions. It's appalling. However... I think a huge amount of credit needs to be given to the German association and the German players for the stand that they took. Now, a number of pundits have come down quite hard on the players to say, well, if you feel that strongly about the cause, take the punishment. It's a yellow card at most at the moment. Make your expression, do your protest like you did with taking the knee and all the rest of it. Get that message out there, show the defiance if that is what you feel. If we go back to the 1960s in the Olympics, when the Americans famously uh, on, the, on, the, on the medal rostrum 
uh, it was either gold and silver or gold and bronze, I can't quite remember, but it's where we first saw the American, African-American um, athletes first take a symbolic stand against the oppression, the racist oppression that was happening in America. They did that in full awareness of the, of the potential sanctions they might face. Um, I think that was 1968, if my memory serves. Um, the, the, the footballers, if they'd all follow through in unison, the power of that would have been overwhelming, showing they can't be silenced, showing how seriously they take this situation. So I do feel a certain degree of agreement with that. On the flip side, the punishment that they are potentially facing is completely unfair. It's not football related. They're not breaking any rules. They're not breaking any regulations. Um, this is FIFA clearly feeling threatened, worried about money, what might happen from Qatar or other Arab nations or other nations around the world that just do not have the same beliefs. But that shouldn't stop the players from being able to express those beliefs. The German football team, prior to their match against Japan, uh, each of them posed for their team photo with the hand across their mouth, just like this, showing that they felt that they were having their freedom of expression taken away and that their voices were not able to be heard and they would obviously face punishment and sanctions for that. Um, I think credit needs to be given to them to at least stand up in some manner and express something. Um, the German Football Association on Twitter backed them and I think that deserves credit. And one of the German ministers who was in attendance quite clearly was displaying upon her left arm one of the One Love uh, armbands. So the fact that Germany were prepared to make some sort of a visible statement needs to be um, applauded. Could they have gone further? Yes. But the fact that they've done something I think should be commemorated uh, and should be encouraged for others to do the same. I think it's very important that anyone who feels like they need to, to take action, make a stand, a stand I should say, take a stance, to support their view is allowed to do that. Um, there was nothing in the start of the tournament rules to any of the associations by FIFA to say that they couldn't do that. FIFA clearly are just bowing to pressure or they're worried about money. The protests or the stance are non-violent, they're non-physical, they don't inhibit anyone in any way. Um, by wearing the armbands or allowing rainbow laces or anything of that nature is no different to allowing the players to take the knee. Um, so I think the associations that signed up to this should do it anyway, and they should all do some form, whether it's standing and linking arms in the team photo or whatever it is they want to do. But we should applaud and encourage the other associations to stand up, just like the Germans, so they're not on their own. And if you want to get a message across, get your message across. But I also think the Germans should have respect put on them for standing up, the only one so far to do that and at least showing something that they're prepared to get that message across. And I think over the course of this tournament, if anyone wants to shout out about any issue or any opinion or any cause, then they should be able to do that free of judgment. And that's the whole point of AdsCast. This is a place where people can um, discuss and debate and air your views and your opinions without judgment. And I think the Germans have done a great first step and the other associations should follow suit.